بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم سید عاقف شاہ لیکچرر فائنانس ایٹ انسٹیٹیوٹ آف بزنس اسٹڈیز کوہاٹ یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی دی ٹائٹل آف دس کورس از بزنس فائنانس اینڈ دا کورس کوڈ آف دس سبجیکٹ از بی ایس ون ہنڈریڈ ففٹی ون دس از لیکچر نمبر سیونٹین اینڈ دا براڈر ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن از ٹائم ویلیو آف منی However, in this lecture, specifically, we will be discussing the frequency of compounding and its impact on future value or present values. The outline of this lecture comprises of frequency of compounding and its impact on future value or present value and effective annual interest rate. which we will see shortly what are these all about dear student after listening to this lecture you should be able to understand the frequency of compounding and its impact on the future value of an investment opportunity and secondly this lecture will make you understand how to calculate effective annual interest rate which is known as the real interest earned over the period of time let's start our first agenda frequency of compounding by frequency of compounding we mean how many times in a year interest rate will be applied on the capital available in your bank account now what does this mean it means that let's draw a timeline suppose a bank offers you to put $1000 in your bank account at the start of the year which is january 1 and this is the completion of first year which is december 31st at this point the bank is going to apply the compound annual interest rate on your initially deposited amount i and you will receive certain number of dollar as interest earned over the period of time because you have left your money to be intact in your account throughout the year now if the bank applies interest which could be let's say if the interest rate is 10% then the annual interest you will earn will be $100. Now if this $100 has been credited into your account on December 31st, then it is known as annual interest rate and its frequency will be once per year. If the frequency of compounding annual interest rate is more than one, like two time or four time in a year it will be known as semi annual compounding and if the compounding frequency is four then it will be known as quarterly compounding now for example if the same bank offers you the 10% annual interest rate which will be compounded semi annually then in the middle of the year which will be june 30th at the june 30th the bank is going to apply the interest compound interest rate on your deposited amount and it will credit certain amount in your bank account at this specific date which will definitely be the half yearly date so in this case you will divide your annual interest rate by 2 and it will be 5 so therefore the bank is going to credit $50 in your account in the middle of the year right in the at the completion of at uh, right at the completion of 6 months your account will be credited by $50 and once again reaching at the completion of 1 year the bank will not only apply 5% semi annual rate on your initial original principal but rather 
if you did not withdraw your earned interest from your bank account then the bank will once again apply this 5% semi annual rate on 1000 this original principal plus the amount you have earned so effectively the bank will apply 5% annual interest rate on your new existing balance which will be 1050 and you will earn with the help of this more than one once per year compounding you can earn more than $50 in the next six months the reason is that your principal amount has been increased if you did not withdraw your interest earned previously let's remove all these things so the journal formula to calculate the future value of your deposit if the compounding is more than one per year will look like this future value is equal to present value into one plus i is your compounding rate divided by m which represents the number of compounding per year raised to the power m multiplied by n now what does these notation means n stand for number of years you are depositing your amount into the bank m stand for compounding periods per year if it is semi annually the m will be 2 if it is uh, quarterly compounding then the compounding period m will be 4 annual interest rate as previously explained the compound annual interest rate the future value at the end of the year if the total number of years you are going to put your money into the bank account is 3 then n will be 3 and if you, if the number of years you are depositing your amount in the bank is 5 then the n will be 5 present value of cash flow today the amount you are going to invest into your bank account so let's take an example to see the impact of frequency Julie Miller has 1000 to invest for two years at a compound annual interest rate of 12%. She is interested to invest her spare $1000 into a bank account for two years in order to earn the compound annual interest rate of 12%. Let's say if the compounding frequency is annual that is the interest rate applied once in a year that is for example if you are investing your money on January 1 then bank is going to pay you interest at December 31st whatever the year is so in this case the compounding is annual so the future value will be you can plug the values in this formula future value is equal to your present value you are going to invest which is 1000 into 1 plus this i the bank offers you 12 percent interest rate which needs to be divided by 100 in order to re remove this percentage sign so therefore 0.12 divided by m m is 1 because the compounding per period is only 1 per year and then raised to the power m which is once again 1 multiplied by 2 because for 2 years Julie Miller is interested to put her money in this bank account. So at the completion of 2 years the future value of Julie Miller will be 1254.40. So she has invested $1000 in this bank account and at the completion of second year she will have 1254.40. 40 if we subtract this future value rather than i must say if you subtract this present value from your future value then the difference will be your earned profit which which is 254.40 this is your two years interest earned now let's check the compounding impact if the compounding is semi annually means Per year, the bank applies two times interest. 
one on the completion of six months and second at the completion of complete year full year so the future future value in this case will be your present amount similarly putting values into it the compounding is two and then you need to multiply m with n the resultant future value will be 1262.48 now you can compare annual compounding frequency with the semi-annual compounding frequency then the definite choice or the option you are going to opt will be semi-annual compounding because it is providing you at least eight more dollar than the annual compounding rate the reason i have explained in my first slide that the principal and the six monthly earned interest is already included into your um, principal and the interest earned has been accumulated and plus and then the next interest compound interest rate has been applied on at the completion of full year similarly we can see the quarterly impact the only difference our only changes you need to do is to incorporate the right value which is quarterly means four times per year the bank is going to apply interest rate it means that if the time line is like this way starts from zero to one at the completion of one year and this is the start of your investment the completion of three year the bank is going to apply interest rate so that you can earn interest at the completion of six month that is june 30th at the completion of nine month and then at the completion of full year the bank is going to pay you interest so in in whole or in sum i can say that four times the bank is offering you interest in this case your future value after two two years rather i must say the julie miller's future value after two year will be 1266.77 Similarly, if the compounding is monthly, it means that at the completion of each month or at the last day of the month, January 31st, similarly February 28th, March 31st, so on and so forth, the bank is going to credit your uh, bank account with the monthly interest rate. So for calculating monthly interest rate, you need to divide your compound interest rate by 12 and then you need to multiply m with the n and is number of years you are going to leave your money into the bank account so at the completion of second year the julie miller's balance will be 1269.73 so dear student you can see the impact of compounding the higher the number of time or i can say the larger the frequency of compounding the more return you are earning similarly last but not the least if the compounding is daily you need to divide it by the number of days in a year and then similarly multiply the m with n and you will get the final answer if the compounding frequency is daily then you can earn even more return than the monthly and quarterly earning so what is the effective annual interest rate if the compounding is let's suppose semi annually if the compounding per period is annually then the effective annual interest rate and the compounding annual interest rate will remains the same however if the compounding is more than once per period like semi annually or the quarterly or even monthly or daily then the effective annual interest rate will be something different than the actual uh, something will be different it will be different than the uh, compound annual interest rate what the bank has told you so what is effective annual interest rate if the compounding frequency is more than one per year per period the effective annual interest rate is also known as the actual rate of interest earned are paid paid is according to the perspective of the bank and the earned is according to the perspective of investor so in nutshell i can say the actual rate effective annual interest rate is the actual rate of interest earned after adjusting the nominal rate 
which has been told by the bank for the factors such as the number of compounding periods per year. If the frequency of compounding is greater than one, then the effective annual interest rate will be different than the nominal interest rate. So the formula for calculating the effective annual interest rate is equal to one plus I, the nominal rate divided by the compounding frequency as earlier explained, raised to the power number of compounding minus one and it will give you the effective annual interest rate. Now let's take a practical numerical example to explain what is effective annual interest rate. Dear student, the question is saying the basket wander which is a company has a 1000 certificate of deposit at the bank this company has invested one thousand dollar certificate of deposit at the bank the interest rate the bank is offering is six percent which is a nominal interest rate compounded quarterly and the frequency of compounding is quarterly it means the m value will be four and the question is asking what is the effective annual interest rate that is the what is the actual or original interest rate the basket wander is earning over one year of time period so the formula for effective annual interest rate is one plus the nominal rate divided by the frequency of compounding and then raised to the power with frequency of compounding minus one in the next step we can plug in the values 6% was the nominal interest rate but you have to divide it by 100 in order to remove this percentage sign and incorporate 0 0.06 rather than to use percentage sign so 6 0 0.06 divided by 4 raised to the power 4 minus 1 and with the simple mathematics calculation you come up with the answer 0 0.6136 which after multiplying by 100 come up with 6.14 dollars so it means that the bank which was offering you 6% nominal interest rate annual interest rate which needs to be compounded quarterly was actually paying the basket wonder 6.14% annually it means that the basket wander has invested $1,000 let's suppose at January 1 at time 0 then the bank is going to pay out the semi-annual no not semi-annual sorry the quarterly compounded rate at the completion of third year third month that is March 31st March 31st bank is going to pay you certain amount as interest which is compounded quarterly quarterly rate then at the completion of six month which is june 30th once again the bank is going to pay you certain amount of dollars as interest but not on 1000 principal but we are rather we are assuming that the interest you are earning at march 31st this interest actually added up into your original previous principal amount and then the interest rate which is quarterly interest rate has been applied on your newly generated or accumulated balance over this date similar fashion has been adopted at nine month ended and then finally at december 31st at december 31st the bank is going to pay you once again the three months earned interest on the, your total accumulated balance that is principal amount plus the interest previous three interest earned at the completion of each of three months so effectively if you remove your one thousand dollar your original invested amount from your total accumulated balance at december 31st then you come up with 61.40 dollar as your interest earned so you can see that the compounding frequency which is quarterly has 
provided you with an extra $1.4 if you directly apply 6% nominal interest rate on your $1,000 let's say in a simple interest rate fashion 0.06 then you come up with $60 at the completion of one year that is if the bank would have offered you 6% nominal interest rate annually rather than quarterly then you then at the end of the financial year you would have been come up with 60 dollar rather than 61.40 so dear student you can see that compounding more than once per period actually gives you the greater return as compared to your nominal annual interest rate so this 61.40 dollar of interest earned in under the scenario of compounding quarterly is giving you the effective effective annual interest rate of 6.14 percent which is quite greater than the nominal interest rate told by the bank this was all about the frequency of compounding and its impact on the future value of your deposit and as well as the effective annual interest rate calculation. Thank you very much for listening to this lecture. If you have any question, feel free to post them on KCMS or email me and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Good luck for the day. Allah Hafiz.